Hey everyone, thank you for joining uh, Power Apps Lesson 13 in our Enterprise Implementation End-to-End -end Playlist. It's going to be a lot of videos uh, this uh, end of year and even New Year. So very excited uh, to work on this playlist because it's essentially kind of a compilation of all the technologies that I'm familiar with and uh, trying to help everyone get acquainted with how to get started with everything, right? Um, and have a holistic view. And if you're an architect, this really helps you to get into the technical side of things and not just have the big picture, but also be able to get your hands dirty. So um, let's talk about uh, getting some JavaScript code in here to handle uh, required fields. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our uh, uh, Visual Studio Code. We're going to write another function here. These are going to be little like uh, what I'm going to call like rocket launcher videos. Very, very quick functions that we're going to write and then implement and across different tables. So this function, I'm going to call it set required fields. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and um, actually leverage the fact that I have this line already written for me. And then the next thing I'm gonna do, this is I'm gonna say form context. And this is where what we'd wanna do is, um, and oh, very critical, 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 critical. Do not forget execution context. You could be writing a function. You just easily forget. Um, it happens to all of us. I'm going to get the attribute of the name, first name. I want to make that required. So these are going to be, like I said, a bunch of little videos, but doing a bunch of really cool stuff. Right now, I'm starting you like you are from the very beginning. This is a set required level method. I'm going to set this to required. The options are required, optional, and recommended. As you can imagine, required is set is the equivalent of business required. Recommended is equivalent equivalent of business recommended, and optional is literally optional. Same thing. Now, right here, I'm going to copy this line and save myself maybe I don't know ten seconds, but it's something. And look how lean my code is. I'm I'm pretty much done. As soon as I put last name here, I can write another function later. But this is my function, which makes those fields required without using the business rule. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's go to um, right here and edit this. Save our web resource. And then the other thing we need to do is on our table. So we have no we have no event handlers, so we're gonna add an event handler for onload. And it's gonna be the function set required fields. And we're gonna pass execution context as the first parameter. And then we're gonna save and publish. Great, so this is ready to roll. Now we're going to use F12 to uh, essentially refresh this screen and clear our cache a couple times. And I can already see that our method is working. First name and last name are working. Full name is actually visible again. Uh, let's see if our other functionality is working based on the other two. It is. So uh, we're all set. So that's pretty much it. You got, you know, it's scalable. So, and works off the last name field. So keep in mind, if I make a change over here, which I like this, by the way, Joe Ontiveros, it doesn't do anything. But when I get to this field, you know, let's say their last name is uh, Bezos. It'll do Joe Bezos or let's, you know, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> so, Jeff 
And obviously, if it's not a change, like Bezos isn't a change. So how about let's do uh, Satya Nadella. The idea is for you to fill out the form normally. So there it is. It's beautiful. All right. Thank you so much. Next video is going to go into uh, how to show an error message for this field that we had issues with. And then we're going to start going into other tables and pulling from other tables into our table and manipulating stuff and making web API calls. It's going to be a tough one. Yeah. So very excited. Thank you.